Hey everybody, John Peterson here with another quick tip for uh, Adobe Lightroom. Pardon my voice, I, I've uh, got the crud here heading into spring and uh, so feeling a little congested and but still wanted to bring you this quick little tip because it might help you in your editing. Now, you know, for years I have stayed away from any of the healing tools in Lightroom. I've always felt that they were uh, completely inadequate and so I would teach people how to do a round trip out into Photoshop because most of us have the photographers package where we get Lightroom and Photoshop and even if you know nothing about Photoshop learning how to do a round trip from Lightroom out into Photoshop to do some healing or some content aware fill to remove unwanted objects and then back into Lightroom to finish your editing was an important skill to learn. But recently, Lightroom made you know, a massive update to the software. And with that, they made an update into their, their healing tools that are available. And I wanted to show you a quick little thing that you might not be aware of that could help save you some time and effort and not have to go into Photoshop to do some content aware removal steps in Lightroom itself. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, here we are in Lightroom in the library module. And I'll use this photograph to demonstrate this, this quick little tip for you. This was shot down in Bandon, Oregon, and you can see Face Rock there out in the distance. And, you know, one of the things I like to do with beach photographs is sometimes clean up the sand. You know, there's always footprints in the sand unless you're really lucky to get an untracked beach. And so I try to eliminate some of the distractions in the sand so the viewer can really focus on the subject and the story that I'm trying to convey in the image. And if we look at this shot, you know, there's this wonderful leading line, I don't even know what caused it, all the way out to this photographer that was part of my workshop. Um, but this line I kind of want to leave because it's an interesting visual element in the scene. But you can see this horizontal line running across um, that's fairly dark and it catches your attention. And that would be something that I want to get rid of along with maybe some of these footprints around the around the periphery of that. So anything that can be sort of visually distracting and not an essential to my story, I want to get rid of. So for this quick tip, let's go into the develop module. And just like before, we have this uh, Band-Aid right up here, which is the healing tool. So when you select it, what you see, you know, traditionally in Lightroom was just the, the Band-Aid tool that we had. And then we went and we, we got the Clone Stamp tool. And then lastly, we got this new tool with this latest update, and it's the Content Aware Remove tool. If you're familiar at all with, with clone stamping, I'll just talk you through the, the three of these. Clone stamping is, is you manually select an area that you want to fix, and then you manually select the area of the image that you want to fix it with. So you get to pick a similar texture tone contrast area to fill in the area that you want to fix. Healing is kind of the same thing, but the system does it. So the system will choose an area that it feels best matches the area that you want to fix. So it'll use existing information in the image to match or to cover up the unwanted area. And, you know, when, when we used to use this a lot or try to use this, it would oftentimes uh, bring in pixels and information that I didn't want. It was never a good clone. It was never a good, good match. Uh, there was always some artifact involved with it. And so uh, that's why I never used it. But now they have this content-aware removal tool 
And what this does is it, it intelligently creates new information to patch the unwanted area. And it samples all the pixels around the unwanted area and generates new pixels to remove what you want to remove. It's very, it works very similarly to the uh, content aware removal tool in Photoshop, which is why I was always having people go into Photoshop because it works phenomenally well. And this new tool in Lightroom works almost as well as the one in Photoshop. So I think for 95% of the content aware removal, this is gonna be a fantastic tool. And so when you want to remove something, pay attention to which of these icons is highlighted. Right now the heal tool is highlighted. If I want content aware, I click on that. You can, you can change the size of the brush with the slider, or you can use the bracket keys. And then you can also adjust the opacity of the fix, which for me, most of the time, I will keep it at 100% because I want to remove that area or fix that area 100%. So let me show you a little bit how it works. So using my bracket keys, I'm gonna make my circle a little bit bigger than the area that I wanna fix. And I'll hold down my left mouse key and I'll drag. System thinks about it, and then that distraction is gone. Like that, and it's gone. Like that, and it's gone. And I'll take this one, I'll drag this across this big line, and look at that, it's gone. But notice, notice, it picked up a little bit of that um, track right here. So I got a little bit far away from it. So this is one of those where I may go back and I'll only do part of this track, make it go away. And then I might do another selection uh, with a smaller brush just right here and just build up my content aware so um, it doesn't pick up unwanted elements. Probably the biggest difference between this and Photoshop, when you do this action in Photoshop, it doesn't leave a residual marker over where you've made your adjustments, which I like because right now I can't see some of these smaller ones, whether it's removed it or not. And, and to see that, I need to toggle out of the heel tool look at the image and then toggle back into it to make the heel come back. And I'll just work through the image however I, you know, whatever I want to get rid of and it should do a fairly decent job of removing these unwanted visual elements. Makes it a lot cleaner image, less distracting. If I went back to the heel brush so let, let's look at the heel brush and see what it does. So if I drag along here, you see where it is sampling? It chose to sample up here. And I can, of course, move this around if I want, but it felt that this was probably the best sample. And notice that it also grabbed part of this track. So, you know, I could move this over a little bit, but what I find you end up with is sometimes duplicating ridges or elements in the scene and it looks fake. So besides grabbing unwanted information, it can sometimes look fake. And you know, you could use a combination of the two, like these two dots right here are very similar. Um, and this is where it's hard to select something that's in the border. So I have a hard time getting rid of those using the heel brush because it's a little bit more limiting than the content aware removal tool. All right, so there you go. Another quick tip for Lightroom. I hope this helps you streamline a little bit of your editing. And I hope this really helps you um, think about cleaning up your images, cleaning up the unwanted information in your images that don't add to your story or don't add to the subject. I find those can be subconsciously distracting for people and they sometimes diminish the visual impact of the images. So there you go, content aware removal tool in Lightroom. It's exciting, it's fun, it works really well. 
use it, pay attention to it, and enjoy. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more great videos. All right, folks, bye-bye.